very semi-talented off-stage announcer. This is a great opportunity for me to be on a cooking show like this because everybody knows when you have a cooking show of this magnitude, you have to have a great cook, right? Right. Well, I don't know how to cook a lick, but I know how to eat. And that's just as important. If you're going to cook something, you have to have somebody eat it, right? And I know how to eat as well or better than anybody I know. Now, we do have somebody who can cook, not just somebody who can cook. We don't have the fifth best cook in America. We're the fourth. Folks, I want you to meet the third best cook in all America. That night at the dinner table, the creator of Health Club Cookware, Mr. Charles Knight. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, today it's uh, chicken cacciatore. Right? I love chicken cacciatore. Yeah. Good. That's good. Which is made obviously from chicken. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> and it's an Italian dish. It is an Italian dish. And I think it's absolutely delicious. We're going to show them how they can make it in less than 30 minutes. Yeah, chicken cacciatore in less than 30 minutes. Than 30 minutes. Well, I know what chicken cacciatore means. Yeah. Cacciatore is Italian. It means chicken wedgie. <laughs> The ingredients you'll need naturally is chicken. 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 <laughs> we're going to do. Uh, we're going to use chicken thighs because uh, chicken cats free like to eat the, the chicken off the bone. Right. So we're going to show you uh, why and how you should take the, the skin off. Okay. Now that's the skin one. Oh, that's the one. That's the one with skin. Skin. skin one without. We're going to use Italian sausage. Oh, okay. Two cloves of garlic. That's we're a clove short. Uh, not a clove. That's a that's a bulb of garlic. The clove is one of the things that we're inside of. It's only going to be two. I see. I learned something already. Right. You can use one bulb of onion. That's a bulb of onion. That's a bulb of onion. It is a bulb of tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> only bulb. Anyway, this is uh, fresh tomatoes. We've got one cup of uh, mushrooms, which we'll slice. We have rosemary. We have Italian seasoning, uh-huh. of course, a little bit of vino. This oh, is yeah. wine. I always use the best. That's what we we'll use after the show. And that's right. Once the recipe goes bad. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, we have chicken stock, Parmesan cheese, French basil, and naturally pasta. Noodles. Noodles. Yeah. So we're going to, in, in New Jersey, they call it macaroni. Yes. I do things macaroni in New Jersey. And all of these, we use sausage and uh, chicken. We use chicken. Yes. 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 This will give you the flavor. Now, this is only 16 grams of fat for this whole meal per serving. You're kidding. Yeah. Yeah. It's all if it's you take the whole chicken stock and everything, one sausage, right, it reduces it to 9 grams of fat. But you only do one sausage and one sausage, yeah. Pretty soon, if you pick up enough sausage, you would have less than. Maybe you do not have any flavor at all. Uh, see, so, 9 grams of fat or 14 grams of fat is not bad for us. I've heard that chicken skins are fat ones too, right? Absolutely. Now, we're gonna, now, let me show you this. Look, here's the good book of nutrition from the American Cancer Society. It says in here, it says, first of all, eat more poultry. It's lower in fat. Yeah. And it says, when you buy poultry, take the skin off before you cook. A chicken provides about 2,000 calories. If you take the skin off, you eat whole chicken. Whole chicken. Most people don't eat whole chicken. You don't? Well, I mean, they don't eat a chicken leg and a breast or something like that. That is for the whole chicken. Yeah. If you take the skin off before cooking, you'll reduce the calorie content by 600 calories. If you take the skin off after cooking, the chicken calorie content is 1,300 calories. Oh, so you want to take it off before you cook. Before you cook. Oh, Lord, let me show you how to do that. Now. And then here's another thing. Deep frying poultry greatly increases the fat and calorie content. A deep fried chicken wing and a thigh with the skin on it contains 48 grams of fat. Almost Ooh. a day's fat for a woman. Uh, about 810 calories. So the key here is to skin it first. Skin the chicken. Then cook it. Yes. One of these days, I mean, we can put them out on the moon. One of these days, they're going to develop skinless chickens. They'll just be bored with no skin. They'll be bored with no skin. They'll grow no skin. no skinless. I mean, they'll have feathers, of course. But I think they'll just show them what they need to cook with. Okay, well, okay. Some of the other things you'll need is you'll need uh, a food processor. I use the hand operator. Can you imagine that someday there may be boneless chicken? Boneless and skinless. You can imagine that there's one of those things you want to get the ground on. You won't be able to walk You just pick them up and take them to dry. All right. Or whatever you want to do. Okay. Boil them, broil them, or... You, uh, you need your food processor. Uh, you're going to need a cutting board, right? Two measuring spoons, a fork, a chef's knife. Uh, you can use an electric skillet or a large, deep, conventional skillet, right? And that's where you need a pasta cooker. So that's your equipment you'll need. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Are we ready that's to go? That's it. We're ready to go. Moment. We're going to show you the culinary crafts involved in cooking chicken cacciatore. Or in catching... Chicken cooking for it. <laughs> 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 By the way, you already have a mess of it, so I'm 
we have got to show the people how to do it. Oh, okay. You want to show them? Well, I'm sure you, there's something in the it. Well, do you want to get the front of these dinner? No, no, we don't make it this dinner. Right. Yes, we do. We have a knife, and that's how you do it. Oh, okay. see, it's important to get the skin off because, you know, this is where all the fat is. So all you really have to do is just kind of reach in here. You see, you find a place where you can stick your finger. Is there already a little hole in it? Sometimes there is. Sometimes you've got to cut it in there. And you just kind of pull the skin off as you insert the knife, you see? Oh, Take it off. Well, could you? <laughs> you think you could do it? Yeah. Well, here, why don't you do the next one? Oh, it's not that. It's not that. What do you need to I need an apron. Oh, we have to have an apron on without a doubt. I want to soil my clothes. Okay. We have an apron. It's just really get sloppy to get a wet suit. We might need one of those. Okay. Okay. Now, remember what I'm telling you. You've got to get all the skin off of here because this is the fattening part of it. You don't want to have that skin on there. See? And that's what it should look like when it's finished. Even some of this can come off the back. Well, that's pretty lucky looking there. Yeah, you know, the chicken thigh is the best tasting part of the uh, chicken. Oh, that's and it's the most moist. There's another way to there's another way to reduce the fat in this recipe. Okay. What you can do is use chicken breast. Chicken breast yeah. or less fat. Yeah, boneless skinless chicken breast. Now you can find this right there. Uh huh. So there it is. It's coming off. Look at it. I mean, it just pops right off. Well, I'm going to bottom line. It pops right off a little bit. Well, that's amazing. How do those chickens, you think they just fall off when they're running around the yard? Yeah. <laughs> really. Yes? Well, you make me nervous with a knife. You know, that's really, you really make me nervous. You almost cut your finger off. Okay, look at that. All right. Then just uh, scrape that. That's it. And it's not. Cool. See, if Jack can do this, anybody can do it. It's a chicken. There you go. That's how easy it is. Now, what you want to do is once you've got the chicken skin, you're right, you're ready to cook. Here's some paper towels like this. You want to cook now, you don't want to put any oil in the skillet because then you've got wow. another problem here. Yeah. So what you do is you get the kind of quality product that you don't have to use any grease for or oil in it, right? Just put the chicken breast in here, or the chicken thighs in here. Look at that. It's pretty helpful. It's cool. Yeah. Well, look at the sound of that. Do you have anything popping in there? Yep. And you put all eight chicken breasts or chicken thighs, right? You cook with a little bit of the vent open, and that'll cook up in no time. What? Um, this this is going to be a recipe for eight, right? This is a recipe for eight. Okay. okay. I mean, what I need to do is need to put the pasta on. Put the pasta right. Put the pasta right here. So you need to turn the thing on. Turn the thing on, and over that, and you're all set. All right? And that'll cook up in just a few minutes. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut uh, some of the uh, the garlic. Now, you remember how to do the garlic? Uh, let's see, this was a big globule that has a bunch of uh, cloves. This is, yeah, this has the globule with the cloves in it. Okay, we're going to get the cloves. Right? Yeah. Right. 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 No, well, you can do it that way. But there is a, there is a real quick way to do this. What's the right? If you take the ends off, right? Uh, Once you've got the ends off, oh, wait, you can see a on it. Yeah, you just hit it with a knife. Like that. Yeah, that's okay. it. And that's how you have a mince garlic from there, there on it. No. Yeah, now, here's another idea. You can make a help. I don't like that. I don't like that. There's some kind of there is a little like press in there. Yeah, there is. I don't like this this mess a little bit better. And you know you can put the garlic already cut and chopped in the store so they put it in the jar. So that's no challenge whatsoever. No, it's not. And the other thing is they put they put I think uh, some kind of I don't I'm sure what it is, phosphoric acid or something in it. And really? Yeah, it just doesn't taste right. I'm not really sure what that is, but it doesn't taste right. I'll let you do that. See how you can stick your garlic water on there and go. Yeah, just like that. It's normally two cloves of garlic, but since you're having so much fun, it'll be three cloves. We can end up maybe six or seven in here. Maybe we're going to go Okay, yeah, we're going to go over there. 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 We're going to it's real simple. You just chop it up nice and fine, like you see here. And what they call this is minced garlic. Right? Once you've got that minced, you are ready to go. Okay. The next thing we need is an onion. Okay. So you want to cut the onion from top to bottom. Cut the knife off. You remember this, right? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to put it on the machine. Don't think we have the wrong blade here. Let me get you the, the right blade. Where are the blades? Blade? No, we need the number two blade for that one. Okay, you need to chop the onion. Okay, you remember how to do that, right? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Yep. 
Slice up the mushrooms. Okay, into the same bowl? Yep, into the same bowl. See how you do that in a right. bit on there? Let's see how these are going to cram them down. Cram them in. Very easy. And you can do both of these together. There you go. Into the same oh, bowl. This thing's boiling over. Is that mean? Uh, yeah, it means you got the heat too high. Oh. <laughs> wow, but I, what do I do? What do you do? Well, what you got to do is kind of let the lid off. Holy smoke, it's still up there. We all set. That does it? Yeah, no problem. Wow. Well, this is a dangerous job. It is. It's on the side of the road. Look at things are flying everywhere now. How many do you want? You want them all? Yep, we're going to use them all. That's about that. What you want to do is use about a cup. One sec. That's about three or four ounces of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going to cut some fresh and level up, and then you have to go and do that. There we go. What are, what are I doing? Is? Good thing these people aren't paying for the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one more. One more. Okay. Uh, okay. They're all set. Okay. What we did is we got everything prepared and ready to cook and go to the next step. So I guess we'll be right back. Oh yeah, uh, we'll be the rest of it. Okay, back in a moment with a better. <laughs> in there? Uh, the residue? The residue. Uh, that is where we're going to get the flavoring from. What okay. is the residue? What do the residue? That gives you the flavor. <laughs> the flavor, you're talking about what's left in the pan. Yeah, what's left in the pan. Okay. In other words, you took the flavor in the pan. Yes, we'll put the flavor in the pan. Now, what you can do is squeeze the sausage into here. Uh, I can show you the proper... The proper way to squeeze it. It's like milking a cow. For those of you from... The coffee country, so you just whoop like that, and there it goes. And then it's just like milk and a cow here, sort of. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'll probably be a little, little bit closer down there. Here. There we go. Uh, you see, what we're going to do is we're going to cook the sausage in here, and um, this is the additional flavor of the dish. Right. All that residue down there become the actual gravy. The residue of the residue, yes. yes. We're going to deglaze the skillet in a few minutes. <laughs> Now that we've uh, we've got that done, right? just cook the uh, cook the sausage real good. And to this, you want it? You that smell delicious? Oh God, isn't it? Very good. To this, you want to add the garlic. You got on the whole right platter. Right? You want to add the onion. I see you put the mushrooms on top of the onions. We didn't want to do that. What? <laughs> You're not going to do that. Okay. Put the onions in here. What about the mushrooms? The mushrooms go on this. Okay. So you saute the mushrooms, the garlic, and the sausage together. Yeah. And uh, this will uh, this will come to a beautiful translucent. That's how you know that the uh, the onions are complete. 
can't see through the onions anymore. You 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 can't see through the onions anymore. Once you've got this, see, see how it's starting to deglaze, right? What you want to do is finish the deglazing process with about a half a cup oh, of vino. You know, we're going to use a good quality port. There's about a cup, about a half a cup. Now, the reason we use port is because it's sweet. And then I'll take the, the bitterness out of the tomato. So the alcohol burns off, right? If somebody went by. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I can smell it burning off right now. Yeah, it, it burns off. And what you're left with is you're left with the flavor. Yeah. Okay? Now, see how see how the residues come off the pan? Yeah, we're good on it. See? Means you don't have to wash the pan. That's right. You don't have to wash the pan. Well, I mean, you got to wash it. You don't have to scrape it. Well, you don't have to scrape it. Let me get that big chunk out of there. Okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to put the tomatoes in. The tomato. The tomatoes. These are crushed tomatoes. You can use crushed or cubed. These are actually cubed. Is it cute? Yeah, and they call this calls for 16 ounces. Now, you know what they've done with a lot of. You put it in. Well, you want the whole thing in there? The whole thing. Okay, well, I didn't know. You know, I'm really just going to put it in and start taking some back out on it. You know, what they've done is they've changed the. Don't wipe. You have to use this apron for every show. Don't be wiping your hands on your apron. Right? Well, this is a low budget show. It is a producer, director, floor director, announcer. Yeah. So, yeah, this is. You've got to keep the budget going. Okay. Okay. Now, we've got that cooking. The next thing you want to do is you want to add the chicken stock. The chicken stock. The chicken stock. You want the whole thing in there? No. 11 and a half, whatever. Well, actually, it's one and a half cups. One and a half, one and a half cups of chicken stock. Where's that written on here? Right there. Oh, okay, here we are. The whole thing. And you want the whole thing. It's a very good stuff. Don't you? Why do they put those other measurements on there? I mean, how many people do you know that cook with uh, 350 milliliters? Well, it's probably the rest of the world. The United States is the only one that's on the cups. And the yeah, where are they selling Pyrex? They're selling it in the good old U.S. of America. They have to put cups on both sides here. Well, I don't know. Maybe you might have Canadians down here. You never know. Okay, now we need a dish of rosemary. That um, dash of rosemary one or the this one? Uh, that's that's, that's that one. Okay. Just a dash of rosemary. A dash? A dash. You just kind of go like that? That's a little bit more. A little bit more? A little bit more. Okay. And I think that you want to add about a teaspoon. <laughs> you want to add a teaspoon of oregano? A teaspoon. Um, is that this? That's oregano. Yes. Italian. Or an Italian seasoning, actually. That's okay. Not oregano. And a teaspoon is this one. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah actually a teaspoon is like this. <laughs> That's a teaspoon. Wow. Hey, you have got fat teaspoon. There you go. So today we're going to put the mushrooms in. Oh, right here, here. I'll put the mushrooms in. Just use your hands. Don't mind us. I don't know what it is. They're sticking. There we go. Well, see, most people have a use tonight. The only thing I'm worried about is you're going to cut your fingers off. Oh, just slide it under there like that. Right. Okay. We're all set. Now, you let this cook for a few minutes. Okay. All right? And you let this simmer down, and then you return the chicken to the chicken catcher pan. You put the chicken back in the pan. Put the chicken back in the pan. Right now, I'm going to cover this up. We're going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes. Is that like steeping your feet? Like steeping? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. You let this cook for about 20 minutes, it'll be all done. You're kidding? No, that's how it is. So we're we taking a break right here. I, I guess we should. And we'll be back in a moment with more. <laughs> Please send a stamped self-addressed envelope to Chicken Cacciatore, Box 262502, Tampa 33684. That's a stamped self-addressed envelope to Box 262502, Tampa 33684. That's Tampa, Florida. What if, what if they can't spell Cacciatore? Just put catch, put anything, chicken, chicken wedgie, anything that has to do with a chicken. Well, we're going to have to get with chicken wedgie. <laughs> okay, well, you're ready to do uh, it. Yeah, this, this is ready to go. Look at this. This is just oh, awesome. So it's it's awesome. Okay. Isn't that great? Yeah, but we got to fix it. Okay, here's what you got to do. Put the cheese. Okay. Mm. <laughs> right in here, right? Pick up the cheese. All right. Now, uh, actually, you always cut from the top. Hold it up here. Cut it up here. there? Yeah, turn it very quickly. Oh, okay. Like this? There you go, yeah. You can go back here. Just do it if you want. That's very good. Real fast. There you go. Okay, that's enough. That's good. That's good. Uh, now, we need, we need you to cut a little bit of the basil. Cut a little bit of the basil? Yes. The basil. Plant here? Yes. Okay. 
Oh, like a leaf off or what? Uh, well, actually, what you can do is <laughs> well, actually what you do is you pull like you want to pull the top off like that. That's okay. what you want to pull off. Okay. Right. And you just chop it up like like this, like you're doing with other. Yeah. Well, see, like, <laughs> well, see, watch this. See, you're going like this, but over here you need to go back here. See? Just go real uh, quick. Can you do that? Okay, I can get it. Done. I think it's just not. keep your fingers out. I need to go this way now. Yeah. Ooh, you are Wait, dangerous. Wait, you are dangerous with a knife. Let me tell you what. Oh, if, if you can do this, anybody can do this. Oh, that's a great little knife. Okay, ready? All right, some pasta. All right. On the plate. Over here. Pasta on the plate. Okay. Whoa. What a blob. Okay. Okay. Pasta on the plate. Whoa. So it's like a bad hair day. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, whoops. There you go. And then you put uh, some of the sauce on the pasta. Okay. You can see here. we got to hurry. We're running out of time. And the thing you want to do is put the big piece of chicken there. Uh -huh. You garnish it with a little bit of cheese and the greenery, and you're all set. Okay, I already ate. I was going to 